is our main event of the evening. Rampage 33. Jones just 24. Three inches taller and a huge 11 and a half inch reach advantage. With the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Sectioned by the Colorado State Boxing Commission. Director Joseph Mason, our three judges scoring this contest at Octagon Side are Nelson Hamilton, Mark Van Tyne, and Tony Weeks. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Josh Rosenthal. Take and it now, get in, get this it. is the moment you've all been waiting for. From the Pepsi Center in Denver, Colorado. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a professional runner, 32 wins, 8 losses. He stands 6 feet 1 inch tall, weighing in at 204 pounds. Fighting out of Irvine, California, by way of Memphis, Tennessee, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the challenger and former UFC Light Heavyweight Champion, Quinton Rampage Jackson! And now, can you see the champion fighting out of the red corner? A mixed martial artist holding a professional record. 13 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 204 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Endicott, New York, he is the reigning, defending UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, Johnny Bones Jones! Gentlemen. All right, gentlemen, this is for the belt. You've been given your instructions. I expect a clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Defend yourselves at all times. Touch gloves, go back. Let's do this. Jones did not make eye contact with Rampage. He did at the weigh-ins, but not tonight at the stare down. I wouldn't want to stare No kidding. Jones got the scariest stare down face of all time. He is angry, he is motivated, and he is in great shape. Let's fight! And he wants his belt back! Yes. Oh my. And here we go! Tonight's clock brought to you by Gears of War 3, available now only on Xbox 360. What is this? I think he's just ad living this. Honestly, I doubt that this was even a plan. Interesting. Oh. Rampage got off a knee there. Bones has the clinch. Now this is where John Jones is great though with his Greco-Roman background. He's got some spectacular throws. He loves the lateral drop. He has amazing leverage with his long limbs. Nice knee to the body. Rampage on his service. Josh Rosenthal saying he caught him. He attacked the knee there that time. In with the knee now Rampage going to be the aggressor here. Jones would love to take Rampage for a ride. Right now he's working the neck. He's got his neck. John, Rampage has to be very careful here because John Jones has some spectacular chokes. He's out. Championship fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Oh, nice elbow. Jones very meticulously broke down Mauricio Shogun Hood. See the knee? See how he used the leg to get the wrist on lock there? Nice move by Rampage. Veteran move. He goes on the move. Jones went on the footstops. Old school. Here where it all began, Denver, Colorado. Now he wants the trip.
his stance, throws the kick. So the front kick to the body right away. And that's something that's very hard to deal with. You're talking about that kind of reach. Yeah, 11 and a half inch reach advantage. Long legs, long limbs of the champion. Rampage wants to get inside and fight the phone booth. Rampage has even more problems with this reach because he has a boxing center attack. So he uses his arms more, whereas John Jones uses a lot of leg kicks and, you know, and kicks from the outside where he's way away from the punching power. Of and as he told both of us, Joe, he really worked his leg kicks with Mike Winkle John. Tries to toss Rampage aside. Good head movement by Rampage. Still, and will be for a while, one of MMA's elite head kick again. Rampage would love to counter that head kick. But Jones is so far away from him when he throws it. He's using perfect technique. Nice kick to the knee there. Went up high again. And this is a Muay Thai attack here from Jones early. Nice leg kick. Very nicely done. And he's able to do all of this out of harm's way. 90 seconds. And he has such a spectacular physical advantage of almost everyone he faces. Because of that reach, he can hit them in a place where they can't hit him. And he is having his way. Yep. He was looking for the chin, and I like that teak. I like that on the knee, buckling his opponent. Foot jam. Rampage closes the distance. A couple of those front kicks look very much like Anderson Silva, Vitor Belfort, or at least working its range there. And John is just looking at the time to throw here. Time to throw or take down or perhaps something wild. The thing about him is you don't, you don't know what he's going to do. He throws so many spinning elbows and so many wild techniques. It's so hard to figure out what he's setting up for. Whereas with Rampage, he's setting up for a left hand or a right hand. That's a big advantage for John Jones. And that was one of the things talked about with Rampage. Is out of his victories come the same way. And there's that big spinning elbow. Just like against Shogun, perfectly timed, and he lands it. Under 30 on the clock here in the first round. You almost sense that that spinning elbow was coming. The same way he used it against Shogun back when he won the title in Newark, New Jersey. That kick again. again. That high kick. Spinning. Wheel kick. Wow. And again, down no. After a trip, a Rampage defense. Rampage has some very good takedown defense. Rampage looks to land. Big swing at the end of the round. Big round for John Jones. First round complete. And here you see that spinning elbow. Look at this. Right to the top of the head. Deep breaths. Let's find that waterfall. That was an amazing round. Calm down. Now breathe, John. Nice. Let, let, let Greg talk. Let Greg talk. Let me out against water. Very nice. Now, listen. You fight and it's simple. Use your tempo. He's throwing you down. Wrestling. You can wrestle with this cat. He's getting frustrated. Let's go. The triggers are the important thing. Tempo. The triggers are the important thing. Come on. You're seeing them, you're Get blocking the them, range. and you're not going off them. Find your range! Find Re your range! The range is inside those triggers. It's inside every trigger. Tempo work! Come high with mine or black, all right? Stay away. Distractions, let's go. Distractions, let's go. Find your range. Repeat it over and over in the corner of Rampage. Well, that's easier said than done. Coming, let's fight! Round two! And quickly he tries to take the center of the octagon, does Rampage, and he wants to close the distance. Again with a head kick, though. He knows does Rampage, and he can't stand outside with John Jones. This is what he wants. He wants to make it dirty. He wants to beat him up a little bit and test him like no one has before. But so far, he really hasn't been able to connect. Nice knee to the body there by John Jones. Oh, he tried that spinning nice. elbow again. He's got to hold the neck of Rampage. Rampage got to be careful here. Again, Jones is excellent with chokes and all sorts of different. Good takedown submission, Joe. He tried to throw the uppercut on the way out. See that side kick to the thigh. Such a good maneuver to keep your opponent at 
reach, especially when you're John Jones and you got the longest reach with well, yes, any fighter in MMA. That was something that I've been wanting to see from Quentin for years, his leg kicks. Quentin, when he was with Colin Ayama, when he was training more Muay Thai, had some great kicks. He's a very powerful kicker. He just doesn't throw him very much, and because of that, he's, his repertoire is limited, and he's, he becomes more predictable. There's a good kick aimed at the body of Rampage. He was able to get out of the way. One, two misses. Rampage just trying to get inside. He pushes forward there. Chase him down. The direction to Rampage. Bring the fight to him. for this fight, but throughout his career, and as he has developed his striking game, Mike Blinker John has been the real key. Rampage is waiting on John Jones. He's been tagged so many times now that he's freezing and waiting for John Jones to move first. He's gone with the orthodox, he's gone with the southpaw stance throughout this fight. Nice leg kick. and a miss. But he ties up Rampage right away wisely. Rampage has got to break free when he's got to hold him up. He's close enough to hit him. He's got to really exert himself to break free and land. Like right there. Don't push away when you're that close. Throw shots. That's where he's got to land. When he's that close, when John Jones like let go of him, he moved away. He was so close. And the reason is he's worried about John Jones' attack. He's thinking about it. And that's why he moves away. But those opportunities when he's that close, he has to capitalize on that because he doesn't get very many of them. Yeah, they are few and far between. Another nice leg kick, two in a row. And he's mixed them up in that inside. Yeah, he's mixed them up so nicely. That one right on the knee of Quentin Rampage Jackson. And again. Well, John is a real student of the game, Mike. You know, and he's, he watches all the greats. He watches tapes. And you can see by his attack, it's become so much more diverse. Spinning back As his career in the UFC has progressed. To the midsection. The accumulation of these kicks are going to be a major factor in this title fight. And head kick. Rampage is frozen in front of him, staring at him now. He doesn't know what to do. And some wondered if Jones would stand and trade with Rampage. The answer is a definitive yes, but he's doing it on his terms, Joe. As he always does. Yep. Starting to go a little more traditional, looking to establish the jab from the orthodox stance. He switches it up again. Under a minute on the clock in round two. Oh! Rampage has got to abolish John Jones. He cannot stay here on the outside and let John Jones pick him apart while he just utilizes head movement. I mean, this is not enough. He's frozen. When was the last time you saw Rampage? This, this tentative, maybe never. I mean, I suppose it could be a part of some sort of a strategy to drag John to the third, fourth, and fifth round and see if he tires and then attack, but I doubt it. I just think he's being mesmerized by this kid's talent. And a lot of the MMA world has been for the last number of years. You can still never count out the no way. Quentin has that ridiculous power, yeah. and he carries it with him late in the round. Look at this. Triangle attempt. Final seconds of the round, though. Wow. He pulled guard. So unpredictable. I mean, who the hell would have expected that? This kid can do everything. He's tired. Very comfortable, man. He's picking his ass. Have a seat. All kinds of kicks, head kicks, leg kicks, side kicks to the leg, high kicks, front leg side kicks. Just what an arsenal this kid has. Now look at this, right when you think you've seen everything, he pulls guard and tries a flying triangle. 
Can he change the way this fight has gone for 10 minutes? Yeah, I don't know what Rampage's corner told him in between those rounds. But he's got to do something. He's got to figure out something. And that helps. He threw a kick. Nick is in the arm, though, now. Raccoon. Oh, tried to that time, Joe. Now we're, that's where Rampage has a chance. Any little stumble that John Jones makes. And it may come down to just hitting that one pitch. It may come down to the home run for Rampage. Well, Rampage is throwing leg kicks now. John has some very thin legs. If Rampage can land these leg kicks over and over again, who knows? That, that, that could be something that changes the fight. But Rampage's got to be very active with those leg kicks. There's another one. That's what I'm talking about. Now he's mixing it up. That's what we need to see. Yep, you want him not to be one-dimensional with his striking. It's so the kicks he isn't. It's been so important his entire career. He's just so good at, at striking with his hands that he relies on it. But now his, his only success that he's had so far is his leg kicks. And he'd like to slow down the attack of John Jones by punishing the left and right thigh. But he did a couple and then he stopped. He's got to keep that up right there. Don't let Jones do it to you. Get him off. Get him off. Good kick by Jones. That inside leg kick was there a moment ago. Now he wants the leg does Jones. He's got him down. And moves instantly into side control. And he has vicious elbows with his ground and pound. And watch his knees to the body because he gets his hips up and drives down the floor. Oh, 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 mount. Explodes into the mount on Rampage here in the third round. Rampage is in all sorts of trouble here with 320 to go. He torques the elbows. He's going to scoot him towards the fence. Postured up. And here comes his vicious elbows. Looking to finish the fight right here. Rampage is trying to control his wrists. And he eats another elbow and another punch. Rampage has got a hip escape. He's got a buck. There he goes. There he goes. He's got to keep going. Got to keep going. What a great shot. He's up. He's up. He's up. And John's got his neck. Oh, nicely done. With the heel to the leg. Rampage gets out of a very bad position where he is fully mounted. But that one elbow connected with the right side of the face of Rampage. Rampage is bleeding. That's from that big elbow, Joe. To the body. Nice kick to the body. Shin to the gut. Just past the midway point of this championship fight. The Anderson Silva kick to the face of the Odom Machida as well. Rampage has abandoned those leg kicks, Mike, right? and they were the thing he was successful at early in the round. Cut right above the right eye of one of the all-time elite fighters in MMA history, Quentin Rampage Jackson, 32 wins. Seven in the UFC, Jones was seven as well. A nice kick to me. And I kind of looked up at the clock after that one, Joe. He throws a jab and right behind him, a nice elbow, and sweetly moves out of harm's way. Rampage looking up at the clock again. Remember, it was a huge flying knee against Shogun. It kind of spelled the, the true ending of that championship fight. Lead left hook. If you watch John Jones' first fight in the UFC, and then compare his striking now, it is amazing. It's amazing that it's only been a few years. Because this is like 10 years of development. More. Nice kicks, pressing kicks, spinning fists. It's the way it looks, too. The, the way he's, he's throwing these techniques expertly. If you truly went on your computer and, and designed the ultimate, ultimate fight, and there's the fine knee, John Jones with his reach. And the creativity of his striking be a great place to start. And the intelligence, the intelligence to train correctly, to learn the technique properly, to not rely on his physical talents, but to constantly be expanding his repertoire. Switch kick, Rampage got out of the way. Head down, but hands down now. And a big jab from Jones. And it really is one of the differences between him and Quinton. Quinton has really stuck to what has got him to the game. And that, you know, what gets him to the dance is those hands. I mean, at times, John Jones, oh, look at that. Like, right great. there is Anderson Silva-like in his striking. And, and Anderson Silva's been doing it his whole life.
final seconds of the third round. John just standing right in front of him, totally relaxed. Look at that. Wow, that was a, that was a huge diss. He just chucked him to the ground on yeah. purpose. That was to let him know I can do that anytime I want to. Sit down and listen. Breathe! 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 Finish it. Okay, listen, son. Listen, you've got to let more leather go, and you've got to get in range. Around you him. must get in range, son, and let the leather go. Around right, round four, round four. Listen to me. You've got to put it on him, Quentin. You're letting him rest. He's working a little burst, like we said. And there's a Quentin Jackson stu stuffed into side control, and here Quentin gets cut. John Jones hits him with a vicious elbow, and here Quentin escapes, pushes him off, does a great job of getting back to his feet. But really, the only success that he had in that round, there you see his knee hyperextended, that hurt. The only success he had don't in that round was those still. leg kicks. And I'm don't not hearing leave from his corner. They're, they're telling him to get in range. They're telling him Come you gotta on. put it on. Specifically, he must throw leg kicks. First time in the championship rounds for John Jones. As he finished Shogun at 237 of the third to become the new light heavyweight champion. He's so relaxed coming in his fourth round. Look at that. I mean, they keep saying he's got to get into range, but specifically what he's got to do, he's got to mix up his attack. He's got to throw kicks. Jab again. Oh, nice lead left hook. He got hurt. He got hurt. He got hurt. Big time. That left hook on this with a kick down. And he spins those hips. This position. Jones had a scholarship, was recruited by Iowa State, had an offer after being a junior college All American wrestler. He's got the right, he's got his neck. He's got his neck. He's got his neck, yeah, right, go, but he's got him pinned up against the cage and he's on top. Nice elbow. Bad position for Quinton. Oh, nice move. Beautiful knee to the body, reminiscent of Rashad and Tito Ortiz. He's got his back. He's got one hook. Rampage has not been stopped in the octagon. That's what Jones wants to be the first man in the UFC to stop. Quentin Rampage chances. He's got it. Looking to do it right here. Oh, man. Looking to finish this fight. Quentin's trying to pry it off. Look at the hands John Jones has defended. UFC Light Heavyweight Championship. He stops Quentin Rampage Jackson. Wow. What a spectacular, flawless performance in his first title defense against one of the most dangerous guys in the division. Just simply spectacular. That kid is something very special. That first hook in with the left leg gets his right arm right. underneath and flattens Quentin out. Sneaks his left arm under the chin. Thrusts his hips forward, flattens Quentin out, gets his back, full back mount, goes palm to palm, and gets the tap. He did not just want to defeat Quentin Rampage Jackson, he wanted to be the first man to finish him in his UFC career, and Jones does it by submission. Here is Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Josh Rosenthal has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 14 seconds of the fourth round. He played the winner by top out due to a rear naked choke, and He's the now generation. Here's Joe. I, I won't kiss you this time. That's all right. You can kiss me all you want, brother. Listen, you can't say that you've never been tested. 
that's not the issue. The issue is you keep getting straight A's. And this was just an absolutely spectacular, flawless performance. One of the most spectacular performances we've seen in recent years. You did everything you needed to do. Tell us, what was the game plan coming into this fight? And did you follow it or did you just ad-lib this? Yeah, you know, the game plan was to uh, prove that we can strike with Quentin Jackson. You know, he kind of insulted me saying I had no punching power and he insulted my striking. So, you know, me and Mike Wingerjohn, we got together and we really cleaned up my striking to prove a point, and uh, I think we did that. Now, starting out the first round, you, you came in on your hands and knees. What was that all about? Was that part of your strategy, or did you just go with the moment? Uh, you know, I, I had a little epiphany last night. I have a really good mixed direction low single leg where you fake to uh, the right leg and shoot at the left leg, but it didn't work out the way I planned. Uh, but yeah, I was planning on shooting a really fast low single. Let's take a look at the big screen and talk us through some of your handiwork because you, your, your striking was just on a complete different level tonight. And when you got his back here, you finished the fight. You got the choke, you sunk it in, flattened him out, turned him over. Just absolutely perfect technique. Yeah, thanks a lot. You know, my coaches told me uh, going into the fourth round that they felt as if he was starting to break a little bit. And uh, if I wanted to finish the fight, that was the round to do it. So uh, we came in and we finished the fight. You know, they say you aren't truly the champion until you defend your title. Not only did you defend the title, you defended it absolutely flawless. Congratulations, sir. You lived up to the hype, and then some. The UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, ladies and gentlemen, Johnny Bones Jones. John Jones defends his title. Up next will be another former UFC light heavyweight champion. And the long-awaited fight. All right, I'm here with Quentin. Quentin, what did you expect coming into this fight, and what what surprised you? Well, you know what? I've, I've been I'm in the best shape of my life. I expected to come out here and uh, close the distance and, and overthrow on um, John Jones, but it's he, he's great, guys. I, I thought it was hype. The kid is good. I have to, I have taken my head off to him. See, my head is in my hand right now. You were, you, were, you were coming at him, utilizing your boxing, but it seemed like you were having some success in some rounds with your leg kicks, but then you abandoned it. Why, why was that? Because um, what people don't really understand, John Jones is a great wrestler. You don't want to take too many chances of kiss, uh, kicking a wrestler like that. And he, get, he came really close with some of the takedowns and stuff like that. But, you know, I, 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 I did my best. I, I'm kind of disappointed I didn't stick to the game plan as much, but uh, John's presence is in there and he's tall in his reach. He's keeping his fingers in your face. It's, Kind of hard to get close to him. I just want to thank all my sponsors. MMA Elite, Muscle Farm, thank you guys so much. I'm breaking my mouth pieces. Boost Mobile, thank you for hooking me up with the cell phones. This is the best I ever been. John Jones, I'm telling you, the kid is here to stay, guys. Whoever fight him next, I don't know, man. John Jones, I don't see nobody beating him because this is the best rampage ever. And he had me memorized. I'm kind of disappointed in, 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 in my performance, but you know what? I'm still going to get drunk tonight. Thank you for being very humble, and thank you for putting on a spectacular show. Hey, all praise be to the Most High. Thank you for, that I'm still living and I didn't get hurt too bad. And my kids, I love you. Elijah, happy birthday on the 28th. Thank you, Team Jackson, back at home. I'm sorry that Daddy couldn't, uh, uh, couldn't uh, pull off the victory this time. Next time. I want to go to Japan in February and fight Shogun. That's what I want, rematch the Shogun in, in Japan. Let's put it together, Dana. Quentin Jackson, ladies and gentlemen. The executive producers of the Ultimate Fighting Championship, Frank Bertita III.